Run Impact Nation, what is good? It is your boy DJ Swift, running back Philly. No frauds, no fanboys, no intros. Al, go gang. Do your thing, man. Hit the like button. Us content creators, we sit up here sometimes multiple times a day. I'm doing multiple channels now. All I ask for all this free content is that you hit that little thumbs up, man. Hit the like button. Smash it. Give me 500 likes on this video. 500. And put something in the comments. It doesn't matter what it is. Your favorite emoji will suffice. It's all for the Algo! All right, so I'm just hanging out, chilling. You know, my son's playing Roblox. We're, we're hanging out. I open my phone. I open Twitter. I see uh, my boy Romp tags me in something. You know, I'm like, well, what the hell is Romp tagging me in on Twitter right now? I scroll up, and it says Keith Pompey, you know, the best writer in the city, uh, has quoted Joel Embiid, and Joel Embiid said... In last night's press conference, I didn't listen to his press conference, but this is what he said in last night's press conference. It's funny because coach Doc Rivers on the bench was telling me to stay aggressive. I'm like, we're playing well. The ball is moving. You know, I got to get my teammates involved. <laughs> so I'm sitting here like, oh my God, are you kidding me, bro? Did Doc Rivers really say that to Joel Embiid? I, I thought last night's game was fantastic. I thought last night's game was incredible. The ball movement, the team chemistry, everything. I thought it all was the best that I've seen this season so far. And you're telling me that with that happening, with the team succeeding and playing the right way, Glenn Rivers was still trying to implement a pecking order and kind of telling Joel Embiid to be aggressive and stop passing the ball? Bro, you guys you guys were coming at me. Somebody came at me in the comments and said, Where, where are you at giving Glenn credit for last night's victory? This is what he was doing, bro. He was sitting on the damn sideline trying to fuck up the game. I swear to God, the guy tries to lose. But anyway... Let's not rant about Glenn. That's just a hilarious quote that Joel Embiid knows what this team needs on the court more than Glenn Rivers does. So I went to the article. All right, here it is, man. Sixers versus Kings takeaways. Joel Embiid's unselfish play. Tobias Harris's versatility and Matisse Thibel's confidence. Yeah, yeah, you know what we want, Keith. We want the meat and potatoes. Shout out to Lord Brunson. Uh, here it is, man. Here's the quote from Joel Embiid. Embiid only attempted one shot and made that layup with 637 left the rest of the way en route to shooting 10 for 16. So Glenn didn't like the fact that when the Sixers were up by 30 points, basically, Joel wasn't being aggressive in shooting the ball. And he said, it's funny because Doc on the bench was telling me to stay aggressive. I was like, we're playing well. The ball is moving. You know, I got to get my teammates involved. For me, if I'm open, I'm going to try to score. But in some situations, you want to get your guys involved. You want to be able to move the ball side to side. That's good for us, Joel Embiid said. So Joel is finding a balance. Joel is learning what's best for his NBA team. And the Sixers looked amazing last night. And I knew, I knew deep down, I was like, there's no way Glenn did this, bro. There's no way Glenn looked like what he looked like for three years, and all of a sudden this is happening. And it turns out this happened last night because Joel Embiid started ignoring Glenn Rivers. Everything is better when you ignore Glenn Rivers. All right, he tried to tell us Ben Simmons doesn't need to score. He tried to tell Tyrese Maxey not to shoot the ball and try to be Ray John Rondo. I mean, how many things are we going to list that this dude's been wrong about? So Joel starts to ignore Glenn Rivers. And the team looks the way that it did last night. And maybe they came together. Maybe they came together and said, let's ignore him together. Let's none of us listen to this fool. Let's just go ball and play the best basketball we can play. It's probably what happened in Boston in 2008. But this, 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 this. This is interesting. This is interesting. Joel Embiid is averaging 4.6 assists per game this season. To put that into context, Giannis Antetokounmpo, who is heralded as uh, a point forward, is averaging 5.2. Joel Embiid has become a facilitating center because the only way they've been able to slow Joel Embiid down throughout his career so far 
was to double and triple team him, and he struggled passing out of those his whole career. He has become a facilitating center. He's totally 100% unstoppable. He's leading the NBA in scoring right now, which nobody's talking about, by the way. The disrespect is real. Joel is MVP. He was MVP last season. He was MVP the season before that. But anyway, that's what happened. All right. Now a couple things. A uh, next thing we got to talk about, okay? Uh, th- I saw this going around the internet today. Embiid says fans want me traded. Um, and everybody's replying and, and freaking out. And, uh, you know, Tyrone Johnson of 97.5 says that, you know, fans do want him traded. Uh, and that's a hundred percent not true. Actually, let me find that Tyrone Johnson one real quick, just to read that one to you. I forgot to get that up here on the OBS machine. Uh, but here's Tyrone Johnson's tweet about this. Um, he says, it's a given that a huge percentage of Sixers fans 100% do want him out. This shouldn't be considered a controversial statement. No, Tyrone Johnson. Only the 72-year-old grandpas who quit watching basketball after they put a three-point line in the game and have been complaining about Joel Embiid being on the perimeter. He needs to get down on the block and back down. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar wouldn't be out there. It's a different game, bro. The only people saying trade and beat are the old grandpas that call your show every day. All right? We're talking about radio here, okay? I always think about that scene in the office when when he's like, do you want me to fax it to you? Michael's like, yeah, you know what? Why don't you send it over on a dinosaur? So people that call the radio do not like a new age center. Shocker. We're talking about a building that has a 300-foot antenna to send radio waves into the sky. That's how old this is, bro. No. Nobody wants to LB trade. But anyway, I went and uh, found the original article, okay? Not the Bleacher Report article that was a little bit clickbaity. I went and got the uh, original interview from Yahoo Sports to get the actual quote that Joel Embiid said. Okay, um, and here it is. He said, you know, he was asked to deliver a message to the segment of Philadelphia fan base. Um, he was asked to deliver a message to the segment of the Phil- of Philadelphia's fan base that has found cause for panic. You know, they were like, you know, the fans have been panicking about your team underperforming so far this season. And Joel said, jokingly, I don't know. Sixers fans, they want to trade me. And in the Yahoo Sports article, the writer put, the 28-year-old grinned wide, his breathy laugh filling the space. There's that twinkle in a bead's eye when he's ready to unwind and talk. Uh, and then Bleacher Report kind of kind of twisted it a little bit, took certain things out to get a bunch of clicks. We understand what they do, all right? Um, he says, do you really believe that, Joel? says, I do believe that they want to trade me. Now, if he does believe this, he needs to stop, A, listening to the radio. I don't know who listens to the radio. Like, do do people actually have, like, a radio and they turn the dial to the radio? That sounds insane to me. That sounds archaic. That sounds prehistoric. Uh, But no, Joel, we don't want to trade you. Nobody wants to trade you, Joel. I promise you. Okay? I think if the Sixers can't put the right things around you this season... You should request a trade. That's what should happen. I, along with, I want to say most 76ers fans, appreciate everything you've done for this organization for eight years. And we think you deserve the best. No. Nobody wants to trade you. And if they do, they're old grumpy people that call the radio stations. They're not real Sixers fans. All right? There's my take on those two things, man. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for hitting the like button. The Sixers looked great last night. It was because Joel ignored Doc Rivers. And uh, we'll see tomorrow night if they listen to Glenn or if they ignore him again. At this point, just ignore Glenn. Play your best basketball. That's all I got, y'all. Have a good day. Peace.